Today, every business has a job to do. To be smarter, leaner, faster, greener. Our job is to help Connecticut businesses do theirs with on-the-job training, or OJT, a program offered by the Bureau of Rehabilitation Services, connecting you to qualified job candidates who live with disabilities, along with on-site training, all at little or no cost to you. But the value you get is, well, immeasurable. Alicia Kacharsik, Vocational Rehabilitation Counselor, Bureau of Rehabilitation Services, BRS. One of the things that's unique to BRS that we do is we really try to understand what the employer is looking for. We would bring applicants that we feel are pre-qualified you know, pre to do that type of job. Um, if they need a little extra assistance in training, in learning the job tasks, or simple accommodations to make the job easier and more accessible to them, that's where we come in and try to work one-on-one -on -one with the employer to try to meet their needs. It's how John Callis landed a full-time job. We helped John by providing services here at Walgreens, including the pre-employment training program and the transitional work group, TWG, which provided both classroom and on-site hands-on work experience doing the job that he would be doing so that he can get some extra practice and be successful when he did get hired here. John Callis, OJT graduate, general warehouse employee, Walgreens. OJT prepares you by knowing that you will have to do this job on a consistent basis and do it well or keep up with your peers and you have to be able to do what they expect of you in the manner that's expected of you to do it. And the best part of the job? Besides the paycheck. Uh, <laughs> the paycheck is very good, the benefits are very good. Uh, the people I work with are good. OJT can help build a competitive workforce for any size business without compromise. And Walgreens is living proof. Joe Wendover, Outreach Manager, Walgreens. Our initiative is, is unique in that we hold everyone to the same standards. So equal pay for equal benefits, disability or no disability. We eliminate the us versus them mentality. It becomes just one team, one common goal. It's all about working together something that Tom Marshall, another OJT graduate and full-time employee, knows firsthand. Tom Marshall, OJT graduate, general warehouse employee, Walgreens. You work as a team. They, they call team members. And they work together. If there's a problem, you ask for, for help. And they're there to help you. What does that mean from a managerial perspective? Sean Halliday, function manager, Walgreens. You've got classroom training, you've got training center training, which is active models of areas in the building, and then you've got on the floor training as part of that. The benefit to that is you can go on the floor, you can experience it, then if there are issues, you can go back into the training center, back into the classroom, cover material for a second time or a third time, and then you just continually are becoming more and more comfortable with the environment, more and more comfortable with the function, more and more comfortable with the language and sort of just the whole idea that this is a full-time job, you're expected to be here, and it's a whole, not so much a socialization process, but just the idea that you become integrated into the building. So how is Tom doing? Tom is doing great. He loves the job here, he loves coming to work at Walgreens, and it's really been a great match for him. Everybody's treated the same, but everybody's an individual at the same time, so part of my job is to figure out what do you bring to the team so that we can get to the end result, which is completing our schedule, um, making rate, processing the right number of cases that we need to do, doing the job function, but my job is to make sure that I understand who you are as an individual and then integrate you into the team and so that we flow together. But do you have to be as big as Walgreens to reap the rewards of OJT? We can work with smaller employers, medium-sized employers, and really better understand what their needs are in terms of an, uh, a candidate. The last thing that an employer wants to do is build a costly training program. BRS can come in and work with an employer and try to find out what the needs are of that employer, and we can do it together. And to sweeten the program's appeal. We may offer a financial incentive to the employer to be able to try out an individual before they fully commit to a permanent employee. I think the best part of my day is walking through the building and seeing the 200 plus people in the building with disabilities, knowing that 
in any other place, they probably wouldn't have been given an opportunity. And when I walk around, I know everybody in the building with a disability and those who don't have a disability, and I see the interaction. So I know what a truly inclusive workplace really is. On-the-job training drives accessibility. Alicia Kacharsik. Accessibility can simplify life, it simplifies job tasks, and it can work for everybody with or without disabilities. Joe Wendover. I think accessibility just allows more people the opportunity. It gives them the, the opportunities that might not exist in other places. Um, I also think another word that goes with accessibility is creativity. I think employers need to be creative and they need to think out of the box and figure how someone's going to be successful, not always look how they're not successful. Sean Halliday. I've never worked with a more dedicated group of team members. These folks never complain about a task. They never complain about having to work overtime. They show up every day, they're ready to work, they understand what they need to do for work. So in that sense, it's a huge benefit for me as a manager, as a team, because we're all here to do a job, we're all here to work, and they, they understand that. John Callis. I'm not treated any differently or any differently than anyone else. I am capable of doing the job. Joe Wendover. When I talk to other employers, they, they ask, why, why would you hire people with disabilities? And my question always is, well, why wouldn't you hire people with disabilities? We have 47% of our workforce people with disabilities, and we are the most productive, most accurate, and we have the highest morale, and one of the lowest turnovers in our, in our division. Sean Halliday. People with disabilities are already part of the community, so bringing them in here and having them work here, they're just a bigger part of the community. Joe Wendover. So again, I asked those other employers, why wouldn't you hire people with disabilities? Tom Marshall. Anybody can do the same thing if they set their mind to it and say, I can do this with the help of the BRS. Joe Wendover. If you take a step back at the company and our initiative and what we're doing, it's really about changing people in their lives, one person at a time. It's about moving forward, together. See how BRS can help you do just that. Visit connect-ability.com or call 1-866-844-1903. See the ability. See how we can work together. ConnectAbility is managed by the Connecticut Department of Social Services, Bureau of Rehabilitation Services, funded by the Federal Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services.